all right guys welcome back to this video segment i hope your day is going well uh good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching from thanks for joining back as usual so uh there have been some uh, latest right now in the camp of the nigerian spiders of course they had that first important training yesterday uh and then uh, 20 people participated uh, in this video here as you can see uh, you know the training went really well it was actually an indoor training uh conducted by the the caretaker coach uh, that's uh, austin Neguavon. and then uh william just Econ, as you can see is in the thick of things he actually let out the boys as they did a series of uh warm-ups uh routines and and you know all sort of uh, training exercises today is another day and uh they also will be doing uh, a number of uh training engagements starting from this uh, morning and then uh later in the evening hopefully uh as they prepare for this game against the republic uh in the weekend and speaking about preparations there have been a number of things that the head coach justin Aguabon has said uh uh, regarding uh, the, the team that we are going to play as our opponents uh, but aside from that he also talked about uh, the, you know the players and what his expectations are from the players uh, so about uh, the Bena Republic side Austin Wavon you know actually uh, said something very important in a in the media briefing you know uh, yesterday and I said that uh, the team should not underrate Benin Republic. That's the Nigerian team. The Super League should not underrate Benin Republic because uh, this Benin side is is a is a is a side that can actually hurt you when you underrate them. You know, and, and we saw how that played out in the first uh, in, in the last game that we played in the World Cup qualifying rounds. Uh, they actually won us two goals to one uh, in a match that, for me, I I I I felt we started that game really well. We played the first half really strong. Uh, we actually had the, the opener for the game, courtesy of uh, Onyedika's goal, I think in the 27 minute or so. But uh, again, we, we lacked discipline, we lacked uh, a bit of respect for these people. Uh, and then we started to underrate them in that game, you know, that we just relaxed and felt complacent. And in the end, you know, we know what happened. They equalized the goal and then added one extra. Uh, and then we found ourselves uh, licking our wounds, looking at each other in, in, in embarrassment and disgrace. So this is the thing that Austin and Wabon has now warned the, uh, you know, this, these players in this camp right now, that they should not look down on this Benesai, that Benesai is a, is, a, is, a, is a slow and steady team that can actually hurt you when you sleep on them, you know, and uh, especially with the fact that they have uh, the experienced uh, gaffer uh in the person of general who actually knows uh a little too much about the nigerian team of course you know he's been our coach uh, i think he's, he's even the the man that has coached the nigerian super eagles for the longest time he coached us up to uh, maybe up to six years or thereabouts you know so he knows way too much about this nigerian team than even the nigerian team knows itself uh, which is why we have to be very cautious. And uh, Austin Aguavon has now said that. And then pertaining the players, he talked about uh, uh, the you know the, the demands that he wants from these players. He talked about commitments that they need to be committed to the team if they want to get results. You know they need to be committed and uh, tailor their their objectives to achieving one single goal, which is uh, the goal of actually uh, playing together. You know as a team and help each other because that's like. The only way that they can actually uh you know flow very well on the pitch and then win games so this is what he's now told them that they should be uh they, they should be very committed to uh the single cause that we have right now you know which is winning this Benin republic game interestingly uh, austin and we have also talked uh briefly about how he landed this job of course you know leading up to this uh these matches we didn't even know we were going to uh, we, we thought we were going to come into this game uh, with a head coach that's uh, uh, this uh, the German Bruno Labadia, but uh, it didn't work out that way. And in the end, Austin Ogbabon is a man that that that's, you know that's leading the team as a caretaker coach. But he said that he was he didn't push to become the caretaker head coach for this uh, for these two games. That in fact uh, he 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 did not want it, but uh, the NFF. Uh, called him to do it 
uh, as, as a way to uh, actually reach out or as a way to give back to uh, the football, Nigerian football, which uh, has obviously given him everything that he has, you know, in life today, you know. So he said that was the reason why he did it, not that he was pushing for it or that he wanted it, because, you know, of course, he's had previous stints as uh, the manager of, of, the, of the Nigerian team, as a caretaker coach in more than one occasion, you know, when uh, John Raw was out uh, in 2021, he was actually the man that came in as an interim uh, head. And now he's also coming in, but he's saying that he's doing this for the reason of, of uh, giving back to the sport that actually made him who he is today. Whether he's being honest remains to be seen. But of course, uh, if there's anything that we need to do is to support this man and uh, move past you know, uh, the idea of criticizing the man or trying to say that, okay, he's not uh, suitable, that he's not the man that's going to get the results. We don't have any option right now uh, other than to support him. So that's what's happening right now in our Eagles camp. And then moving over to the camp of the Benin Republic, of course, you know, they are also preparing for this game. And, they, and what they've done right now is to travel from uh, Benin, Benin Republic to... Uh, to Abidjan, which is actually where they are using currently as their home ground. Of course, you recall, uh, you know, the last time I talked about how uh, how CAF uh, banished them from hosting any African qualifiers in their home country because they didn't have a stadium or they don't currently have a stadium that's regarded as meeting the standard of CAF. So they are currently using Abidjan. Uh, that's the of a Bogli Stadium in Abidjan as their home ground. So they've now traveled to that ground to continue their training as they prepare for uh, this game against Nigeria. So that's where they're currently at right now, training. This side, they're they are very serious, you know, uh, especially because of the, the coach that they have. Uh, so uh, it's going to be a match that, although I expect Nigeria to come up victorious, definitely in this game because uh, the squad that we have right now is nothing compared with the squad that we had the last time that we played them you know uh so the likes of william jose kong is back uh victor simon of course is also expected to be uh for this game but let's move away from that and let me let you know that the, the afghan qualifiers is going to start today uh although we have our game on saturday uh, but it's going to start today and, and the two uh, countries in our group, that's uh, Libya and Rwanda, are going to lock on later this evening around uh, 8 p.m. kickoff time. So uh, it's going to be interesting. I, for one, I would love to see these guys, you know, uh, play the opener in the Group D and then we'll see uh, how their results turn out. Then we'll know how to really approach that Saturday game. But uh, whatever res results that we see today play out, uh, you know, between Libya and Rwanda, we still need to get our own victory on saturday and hopefully by a really huge goal margin you know uh so that is uh the update for this minute more of this is going to be coming up later in the day and uh make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on bell notification to get updates when i drop uh, videos concerning our team but for now that's the video guys thank you for watching and have a great day ahead